Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the topics of A-level maths. Here we're on tangents and chords of circles, uh, so we can answer questions from exercise 6e. So what I mean by a tangent to a circle is the orange line that we've got here, 4x minus 3y minus 40 equals 0. It's a line that is straight that touches the circle at one intersection point and... Um, yeah, briefly touches it at that coordinate. That coordinate in this case here is 10, 0. Um, what we're going to prove then is show that the radius at P, so the coordinate P is uh, this coordinate 10, 0 here, um, is perpendicular to the line, the orange line here. The radius and the perpendicular here form a right angle. Now the easiest way to prove that the, equation, the two lines um, with uh, coordinates and equations is perpendicular is to prove that their gradients are perpendicular, hence their gradients will multiply to make minus 1. So what we need to do first is look for the gradients of the orange line and the green line. And to start with, we'll start with the orange line, that'll be the easiest one to do, because all we need to do here is rearrange the equation of the orange, of the orange line and pick out the gradient. So rearranging this to y equals mx plus c, 4 thirds is the m bit, so the gradient here is 4 thirds. So that's the gradient of the orange line here, and let's now look for the green line. Well that's not got an equation, the green line. The blue line has an equation, that's the circle, but not the green line. But what it does have is a pair of coordinates. So what we can do here is then find the uh, gradients between our two coordinates. Using this little formula here we remember from a couple of chapters ago, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So therefore let's substitute in the values. We've got this coordinate here is coordinate number 2, this coordinate here is coordinate number 1, and it's 0 take away 6 from the two y values and 10 take away 2 from the two x values. Uh, substitute those in, simplify your fraction, and we get minus 3 over 4. Now minus 3 over 4 and 4 thirds, how are we going to prove that they're perpendicular? Well, they must have to multiply together to make minus 1. And if they do, they're perpendicular. And in this case here, yep, they do. So what you can then write is a little conclusion. Uh, as the gradients multiply to make minus 1, they are perpendicular lines. So that's a theorem from uh, circle theorems in uh, GCSE, but we've also proved it here with coordinate systems and equations of straight lines. Uh, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. Right, so let's have a, another go at a slightly trickier question. What we have here is uh, the equation of a circle, x minus 5 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 10. And we have a tangent to the circle. It has a gradient of minus 3. Uh, find two possible equations for L, finding your answer in y equals mx plus c. So what we need to do here is get a sketch out to visualise what's going on. We have a centre at 5 minus 3. And we have a tangent to the circle with a gradient of 3. So it would be a downward sloping line such as this line here with a gradient of 3. However, there could also be one on the other side. Um, so that's where we get our two equations from. So we know that the gradients of these lines here is going to be uh, minus 3. So what we can do to help answer this question and find the two orange lines here is to draw in a diameter like we have here. And we know that as this gradient here is uh, perpendicular, we know that this gradient of the or of the green line, sorry, is going to be a third. So the gradient of this line here is 1 over 3. And we also know that it intersects the coordinate 5 minus 3. So what we need to do is a little y equals mx plus c to find the equation of the green line. It's not very it's not particularly nice. The equation of it is y equals a third x minus 14 over 3, um, but that will help us in finding the equation of this orange lines here and here. So what we're going to do with uh, with this the equation of these two lines, um, the equation of the green lines, sorry, is substitute it into the equation of the blue circle now 
and that will help find these intersection points here and here um, on the circle. So doing this very carefully and making sure that uh, we expand all of our brackets properly, simplifying them, expanding them. Let's try and uh, group like terms here. So we've got 10 over 9x squared minus 100 over 9x plus 250 over 9 equals 10. Let's uh, times through by 9 to get rid of that. Uh, subtract the 90 onto the other side and we now need to divide through by 10 and solve this equation here. And we're going to get our two coordinates here of x equals 2 and x equals 8. So the method that we've used here is to find the intersection point of the diameter and the circle to find the points at which they intersect. So we get x is 2 or x is 8. So let's now find the y coordinates for them. So we get y is minus 4 and y is minus 2. So we've got our pairs of coordinates now. We've got minus, we've got 2 minus 4 and we've got 8 minus 2. So now all we need to do is plug that into a y equals 3x plus c, th sorry, minus 3, because we have a gradient of minus 3, and find those c values. So when, uh, when we plug that in for the 2 minus 4 equation, we're going to get out the, coord the equation of y equals minus 3x plus 2. That's the equation of this uh, orange line here. And for the other one, substituting the other coordinate in, we're going to get y equals mx plus c. Substitute all the key values in. Minus 3 is your gradient. 8 and minus 2 are your x and y values. Find c, and we're going to get y equals minus 3x plus 22 as the equation for the second line here. So those are our two final answers. Um, the diagram here, um, it wasn't that accurate particularly, um, but do have a diagram to help you out visualise what's going on with the diameters, the intersection points, etc, etc. Right, uh, have a go at this question then, pause the video and see how you get on. Right, well done for pausing the video and having a go at the question. So first of all, the point 1 minus 2 lies on the circle with centre 4, 6. Uh, find the equation of the circle. So what we're going to have here, let's draw out a little sketch for us, is the point uh, 4, 6 will be here. And the point 1 minus 2 will be on the circumference of the circle just like this so what we want is the equation of the circle now so we know that the equation of the circle is going to look like x minus 4 squared plus y minus 6 squared because that's where the center of the circle is what we now need is our radius now the movement left is going to be 3 the movement up is going to be 8 so it's going to be 3 squared add 8 squared, which is going to equal uh, 9 plus 81, so that's going to be 90. So it's going to be the square root of 90 is our radius, but what we need is 90 in here um, for the equation of the circle. Part B is find the equation of the tangent of the circle at P. So the coordinate P is down here, and what we want is the equation of this line here. Now the first thing that would be good to do is to work out the radius of this line, sorry, the gradient of this line here, and then we'll do a right angle gradient to work out the gradient of this line. So the gradient of the radius, gradient of radius, is going to be equal to difference in y over difference in x. So the difference in y is going to be 8 the difference in the x-coordinates is going to be 3, so the gradient is uh, 8 over 3. So therefore the gradient of the tangent is going to be the value that we times with this fraction to make minus 1, so that would be minus 3 over 8. Another way of doing it would be to negate it and flip the fraction. So we get minus 3 over 8 for the gradient of our tangent line here. 
So our graph is going to look like y equals minus 3 over 8x plus c. So all we have to do now is substitute in this coordinate p here that it intersects and work out what c needs to be. So we get minus 2 minus 8 over, equals minus 8 over 3 times 1, add c. So this is going to be minus 16 over 8, add 3 over 8, and you're going to get minus 13 over 8 equals c. So the final answer here is going to be minus 3 over 8x minus 13 over 8. So there we are. What we might do is times through by 8. So we get 8y, uh, add the 3x onto the other side, and add the 13 onto the other side. And this would be the final equation of our line here. So either, either form is, would be uh, absolutely correct. Okay, so uh, when you finish watching this video, then have a go at questions from exercise 6e on page 126. Remember, watching this video is only 10% of the learning. You now need to go away and have a go at some questions on your own. Uh, make sure you persevere through those challenging ones and ask your teacher for help if you need any. Right, thanks for watching.